Hi, I'm Harry Bearden from Data Schools Cohort 23, and today I'll show you how to create dynamically coloured big numbers depending on whether they met targets or not. These can be extremely useful in communicating to stakeholders performance in terms of targets. This video follows on from a previous video where I created bars with target indicators, so if you haven't watched that yet, watch that first or download the workbook from the description. What we're aiming to do here today is have the value for one of these bars show up in the title in either blue or red, depending whether it was above or below the target. Similar to how we created last episode, these bars that change colour depending on whether they were above or below the target. So to do this, let's duplicate our sheet. Let's filter to one region, so hold control and drag region to filters. For now, let's choose the central region. What we'd like to do is visualise the value for this bar in the title it's currently not meeting the target, so it would show up as red. So what we need to do here is initially calculate our current year sales for the title. We'll find our prior year sales calculation from the video before and right click and duplicate. Right click and edit this duplicated calculation. Let's call this our current year sales. And all we need to change in here is our prior year Boolean statement we created last video, or our current year we've already created. This will now return the current year sales. But what we'd like to do is have this value show up in the title in either blue or red, depending whether it met the target. So to do this, we're going to have to create two Boolean statements. So create a new calculated field and call this our current year sales above target. So the calculated field we need in here is our color for our bars created in the video before. So find this on color and drag it into the calculation box. Then we need to write a boolean statement around it. So write if current year sales above or below equals true. Then sum of current year sales end. This will return the value for sales only if it was above the target. Click OK, find this calculation and duplicate it. Right click and edit and let's call this our below target. And all we need to change in here is true to false. This will now only return sales if it was below the target. Hold control and find both of these calculations and drop them onto detail. Right click our title and edit title. Let's change the name of this to our dynamic bands. And then head to the insert menu in the top right and insert both of our calculations. If I like them both, make them larger and make them bold. Our above target calculation will only return sales if it was above target. As this is a good thing, let's colour this in blue. As whether it's below the target is a negative thing, let's colour this red. Notice what's happening here. We're having both of them appear when we only want the one relevant to appear. Currently, our above the target calculation is returning as a null value, as we're told it not to return anything if the value isn't above the prior year sales. So to begin hiding these, we're going to need to edit our two calculations. Find our calculations and right click and edit. What we need to do to begin hiding them is wrap both of our calculations in a ZN function. This will return any null values as the number 0. So now it's appearing in our title as a 0, but we still haven't hidden it yet. What we now need to do is format the number 0. So hold control and find both of our calculations and right click and go to number formatting. Set up the number formatting as you normally would, so in this case it's the currency, so go to currency custom, make it a decimal place of one, display units in thousands with a prefix of pounds. Once you've done this, then head to custom. We need to edit this in here. Tableau automatically formats negative and positive values for us. The positive is always on the left, and the negative is on the right of it, separated by a semicolon to distinguish between the formatting. But what people usually don't know is you can also format zeros by adding a third semicolon at the end. 
add a third semicolon and a space. This will tell Tableau to format any number zeros as a space, hiding it from our title. Click OK and it should now be hidden from our title. If we change the region from central to east, it will now appear blue in our title. We've now created our dynamically coloured bands depending on whether it was above or below the target. Thank you for watching this video. If it's been helpful, watch more related content here, such as this video creating bar charts with target indicators.